Hello, what is up guys? Evil Duos Arm here today, back with another Black Desert video. Today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Edit UI feature here in Black Desert that allows you to customize your user interface for your specific needs. So I'll show you all the different cool tricks, tips, and things you can do with it to help you learn to play your character in Black Desert. And once you've learned to play your character, um, create a more streamlined UI for different scenarios that you might find yourself in. So quickly, before we get into this video, if you're new to the channel, new to Black Desert, or you've been watching the videos on the channel and still have not subscribed yet, please consider it helps to grow my channel. You'll stay up to date when new content does come out. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into it. And let's start by opening up the edit UI feature that is on the escape key and edit UI. Now, also just to point out, if you are on the old menu, which is this display right here, you can click the switch to new menu option at the bottom corner of the screen, or you can just click edit UI in the middle. So whichever version of the menu you're on, because that confuses a lot of people when I make videos. Anyway, within the edit UI mode here, you will see a few different things. The first thing is this interface box in the middle that shows you your different presets that you can have. So you can switch between any of these presets um, on the fly just by clicking these little preset buttons, as well as a few other options. The first is interface scale. You can adjust this and adjusting this interface scale number does usually mess up your quest little icons over here. So if you ever notice your quest lists are overlapping each other, it's probably this interface scale option. So this is where you go to change this. Next option you see on this menu here is the custom HP bar, which removes the fixed HP bar from the top left corner of the screen here that you get by default. And it will allow you to move it throughout the screen. So you will see when you click this button, an HP bar pops up in the bottom of the screen right here. So right above this cooldown slot, if you click custom HP bar, you have a custom HP bar that you can drag around and move wherever you want on your screen. So if you don't want it in that top left corner. And show grid is useful if you're trying to line up your skills on your menu here in various spots. And we'll talk about this here in a second. Whenever you are done, whenever you're done with your UI changes here, press the enter key to confirm it and you'll be able to select which preset you wanna use. The reason you wanna make sure to use the enter key instead of having to like click the button on the UI here is because you might wanna put stuff here in the middle of your screen for you to be able to see. Now starting in the top left corner of our UI, you're gonna see the mount icon right here. So this mount icon shows all of your characters different mounts, fairies, storage maids, all sorts of different crap. So if I go ahead and disable this and then open up the edit UI here and save this to, I guess we'll save it to preset one, you will see that all of my mount information, fairy, maids, all of that is gone. So if you ever lose this, it is that setting and you need to make sure to turn that back on. Platoon and party really only applies when you're within a party so you don't have to worry about too much there. You can disable the entire chat menu if you don't wanna see chat at all by clicking this little eye icon right here and it will hide chat so you don't need to see the stupid world chat anymore. Sorry, Randy, your days are numbered. Game tips, which everyone complains about on my screen, always being on in every video, can be disabled by clicking this little eye icon down here as well. Across the top, we have the family buffs, which are all of like your value packs and things like that that pop up across the top. You can also hide that by clicking the little eye icon up there. Function buttons are things like the find NPC function. If you click that, it will hide that off of your UI so you can get rid of that. Location time information is useful to disable if you're streaming. Or if you're like your boy Evil Do Us Harm, you'll put a sick little thing over the top of it and troll people. Minimap, pretty self-explanatory, enable, disable. Main quest line will show your main quest that you have selected and optional quests will all pop up in this window. So you can enable, disable those, drag them wherever you want. The basic thing to keep in mind is that red ones can't be dragged and that the white ones can be moved around. So with all the basic stuff out of the way, now we're gonna get into the interesting stuff and that's all the stuff centered in the middle as well as the bottom of the screen over here. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is the display current key input. This is what you'll see a lot of people who are making like combo guides and whatnot put up on their screen. It shows you the keys that you're pressing. It's good if you're trying to tutorial or demo something to some of your friends, or if you wanna see which buttons you're hitting. Next up, we have the skill guide on or off. This is actually really, really useful if you're just learning a class. It gives you some starter combos to run through, and it also pops up whatever skill you activate on the menu here. So just to go ahead and show you that, save that to preset one. If I go to an area outside of a safe zone here, you see that some basic combos pop up in the top corner of the screen here, or the right side of the screen. It highlights the ability when you use it. And whenever you use an ability, it pops up a text block right here. So if you're out grinding, you can see which different abilities and whatnot you're using um, to help learn your class. So it's a useful feature when you're first starting on a character. Next up is kill notification, which is relevant for PVP scenarios. You can put that wherever your heart desires. The buff list will show all current active buffs on your character. This includes food buffs, buffs from skill add-ons, debuffs if you get an effect by a debuff uh, by an opponent or something that's fighting you, mob, whatever. Pretty self-explanatory. You can place that wherever you would like as well. And we have the stamina bar, which is down here as well, and that's obviously your stamina for your character. So all pretty straightforward there. That basically leaves us these little cooldown 1 through 10 and all of these skills along this hot bar on the bottom here. So I'm going to swap to one of my presets that I have already set up that I use for my Musa. And you can see 
that I have those cooldown slots one through nine all set up in an interesting little array right here. And I did use the grid feature to snap these all into place and line them all up so that they lined up perfectly underneath my character when I'm at maximum zoom. So the way that I have this little skill menu thing set up is that when I'm at maximum outward zoom on my character, it positions just below and to the left of him, and it works left to right of all of my combos that I can do. So I can work straight across in a line like this, I can do a zigzag through these combos, I, I can do whatever I want as long as I start on the leftish side and work my way across. It lets me quickly see what portions of my combo are off cooldown, so I can say, oh, I gotta start in the middle of the combo to work through. Uh, it's really, really neat. So just to give you an example, like this is a combo, this little L shape right here. So if I go ahead and run that, right there, that little L shape was a combo. If you have a class that has specific combos, like you do combo one, combo two, combo three, you can set it up like combo one, combo two, combo three uh, around your character, just so you can quickly see where you're at as far as cooldowns go. So in order to do this, once again, in the edit UI mode, you drag your skills wherever you want them on your UI right here. You then need to assign skill slots for those skills in the skill menu. So press the K key on the keyboard, click on the skill cooldown slot option, and here you can search for all of your skills that are in your kit and assign them a cooldown slot. So CD1, 2, 3, 4, 5, blah, 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 blah. You then hit the edit UI function and drag those skills right here uh, wherever you want to place them on your UI. So a pretty neat little feature right that. And now here's another super cool one. If you're really trying to learn a class or if you've got lots of combos and you just want to put it up on your screen so you can say, okay, I need to work across these things, but you need more than 10 slots. You can also use the hotkey slots here and you can hotkey the same ability multiple times. So for example, if I wanted to have another copy of a combo up here, I could use these action hotkey inputs. In order to have full access to these hotkeys and be able to move them around, you need to go to the settings menu, general settings, simplification, quick slot. If you hit that and apply and confirm, it's gonna disable it and it's gonna disappear, but then if you hit edit UI again and start dragging these around or just hit escape again, it will all pop up here and you'll be able to drag these skills all over the place. So once again, back in the edit UI, you can now take these skills and move them anywhere. So let's say I wanted to build another combo that was something like this. I don't even know if this is a real combo or not, but you get the idea. If I wanna put this combo and then take like that skill and make a combo with it, enter, save as preset three. I now have that second set of skills up there and I can see that I have them hot barred obviously right now, but I don't have to use the hot bar. I obviously can put the skill inputs as well. Just lets you see, okay, this combo is on cooldown. This one's not. I should do this combo instead. This is really useful for when you're learning a class, not super useful or practical as you continue to progress, but it's a really, really great learning system and I highly recommend you take advantage of it. Now, eagle-eyed people are gonna know that there's only 10 buttons at the bottom there, but by doing that separate quick slot option, you unlock the ability for even more quick slots. If you press the K key on the keyboard here, navigate to the quick slot settings, you will now see that it's opened up a second set of bars that don't have any numbers assigned to them, but you can still drag and drop them. So for example, if I wanted to put like Prime Crush Crusher on a combo somewhere, if I drag it to this bar right here, then go back into the Edit UI option right here with Edit UI, I can now drag that Crush Crusher ability, which is QS14, add it into another spot right there, then press the Enter key, save it to preset three, and confirm, and I now have Crush Crusher right there. So if I hit down C, cast Crush Crusher, and it goes on cooldown. And it also goes cooldown on that combo, so I can say, oh, it's on cooldown can't do that, I gotta work straight across. So it's a neat little system that you can set up by moving all these little hotkey icons around. Once again, not super practical uh, when you get later on in your adventures here, but it's a really, really cool thing to take advantage of when you're first learning. And when you're done messing with this and after you've ruined everything and wanna set it back, all you have to do is hit the reset button down here. So just drag everything out of the way and hit the reset button and you'll be able to reset this menu to the way it was before you did any changes. And once again, the setting to go back to the non-fused bars down there is if you hit general settings, simplification, quick slot, and confirm. Then you have to go back into edit UI and edit UI out again, and that will uh, reset the settings there. But anyway, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. So those are all the different UI settings and whatnot that you can adjust, uh, how you can put the skills up on your UI here. A lot of people have been asking me about that and some uh, general pro tips about it. So with that, we're gonna call it a video. If this video is gonna help you here in Black Desert, do let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you have ideas for other videos you want to see on the channel, please let me know. It helps to grow my channel. You'll stay up to date when new content comes out, and I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you all so much for watching once again. I will see you the next live stream over on Twitch, next YouTube video, or wherever I happen to see you. Thanks.